Hello, Cancer. This is your August 2019 reading. Uh, this is going to be the full Celtic cross for Cancer, and I'm looking for new energies coming in for Cancer. Those born in the zodiac sign of Cancer, August 2019. Those born in the zodiac sign of Cancer. Let's see what the beginning energies are. Remember, this will not resonate with all Cancer individuals. But I'm hoping to reach the majority as always. And I'm always looking for a positive reading. But if that doesn't happen, we will work it out. Incoming energy. Ace of Swords. Someone may have been a little abrupt. Someone may cut something out. Someone may have trouble stating their truth in some ways. It's all kind of reasons. But you may be just feeling this way. Or someone may have done this to you. Now we're going to start clarifying. We're going to start putting these out there. And then I will clarify these cards when I get the Celtic Cross put out. And it could change up the story. So be bear with me. Coming in energy. Knight of Rods. This could be... Uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, they are in the upright. It also could be that things are moving forward. What's crossing it? The page of rods, messages. So it could be that some of you are feeling the brunt of the sword energy or you are the one giving the brunt of the sword energy to the page or, or to the rods energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or someone with a passionate energy. What is your goal or what crowns you as the magician in the upright? This is you taking on your power, able to manifest something, going for new things, and you have the ability to do so. You have the ability to manifest what you're wanting with the magician in the upright. Um, the foundation is the Seven of Swords. You may have felt someone was uh, flying under the radar with you or not being truthful. You may be feeling that someone's doing something behind your back, being a little sneaky. You may be feeling this way. In the past, you thought you were getting your Ten of Cups, and you may very well do so, because remember, the Magician is there, too. You are able to get your happily ever after if you're wanting to, and maybe you're going for this, a lot of you. We'll clarify these, so bear with me, because this is an August reading, so this energy may have not happened yet for a lot of you, or may have already happened for some of you. Everybody's on a different timetable. But I do see you um, possibly using sharp words to somebody, maybe telling your truth, or trying to tell your truth, or having um, difficulty telling somebody what you're wanting. But I see you also manifesting possibly a happily ever after situation. But you are dealing also with situations where you feel like someone's doing something behind your back. Near future, ooh, four of pentacles in the upright. Keeping what is yours, regaining um, stability, um, holding back what is yours, and also gaining abundance and wealth for some of you with the four of pentacles in the upright. Uh, advice from the universe or the possible future outcome or both is a star card. There is hope. There is always hope with the star card. Like I said, we're going to be clarifying these. What is coming towards you or the outside environment is someone is keeping to themselves and they're thinking intensely. They could be think this could be somebody else thinking upon you, the situation. But I got to clarify. Is this telling me they're there? Oh, good card. Uh, your hopes and fears is the end, end of karmic cycle and starting a whole new world, a whole new energy for yourself, something positive. Maybe you're getting rid of negativity and then the ugly from the past with the seven of swords, and maybe you're just doing a restart or you're really starting something new. I see you ending something though. With the world card, usually you put the old yuck behind you, the karmic situations, and start afresh, something new and positive. This is also what I call the power of attraction uh, section. This is what I use to manifest. If I see something is there, it means it's a possibility. So you can start this whole new world if you put your mind to it. And I know you're the magician and you got the ability to do so. You also got the four of pentacles, so you you will have um, possible finances or more finances in the future to also do so. There is hope with the star card. The outcome, someone's going to feel stabbed in the back when you do this. I do not think it is you because I see hope. I see the magician. I see the ten of cups. But I also see you ending, like I said, a, a negative situation like and 
um, because something, when it's over, it's over. When someone has messed with you in so much a certain way that you can't let it go with the Ten of Swords. Now I'm going to find out what it is. And it could be sharp words that were said or things hidden, you know, or someone doing something a little underhanded. But I need to find out more. I just need to. So the Knight of Rods with the Page of Rods crossing it. Why are you there for Cancer as a subject at hand? It's interesting. King of Pentacles. You're dealing with someone who's not feeling really secure, secure or stable, or you're not feeling this way, very secure or stable with somebody. You also could be, some of you be dealing with a, um, a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo that is feeling this way. So, um, Knight of Rods, Page of Rods, King of Pentacles, why are you there as a subject of hand for Cancer? Yeah, the moon. Something comes out. Something comes out with the moon. Sometimes deceptions. Something becomes very clear with the moon in reverse. Now, the magician is what crowns you. The magician is a great card. It's also your goal is to manifest what you're wanting in life. Now, the magician in the upright, why are you there for cancer? Why are you all the way up there able to do what you're wanting to do in life? Oops, something's coming up. Ooh. Manifest something from something in the past with the Six of Cups, reminiscing from the past or learning from the past. Positive things. The Magician in the Upright, Six of Cups in the Upright. Why are you there? For Cancer is what crowns them or their goal. And Independence. Gaining independence and wealth. Must be nice being Cancer for once. Cancer deserves it. They have a lot of things they're going through. And I can see that here. Now, the foundation, you feel like someone has done you wrong, maybe flying under the radar, being deceptive, doing something sneaky, um, cheating you in some way. So, Seven of Swords in the upright, why are you there for cancer? And for a few of you, you may be undoing this to somebody. So, Seven of Swords in the upright, why are you there for cancer? The devil, becoming unchained from a sneaky situation or a devious situation with the devil in reverse. Seven of Swords in the upright, the devil in reverse, becoming unchained from a situation. Why are you there for cancer? It's bringing you way too much anxiety with the Nine of Swords in the upright. Whatever this happened, you're, you're releasing it. You're unchaining yourself from a situation. You're cutting yourself off from something because it's bringing you too much anxiety and keeping you up nights thinking about it. Now, in the past, you thought you had your Ten of Cups, or maybe that's what you're going for now. Maybe you already decided, I'm going for my Ten of Cups, which is the happily ever after, or 100% emotional contentment. So, Ten of Cups in the upright, why are you there for cancer? As the past energy... The Hierophant, new contracts, could be a new relationship. Maybe you're going to start a relationship. Maybe you're going to start something else that's more stable. Ten of Cups, the Hierophant, both in the upright while you're there for cancer. It's like you're getting rid of stuff. Yeah, you're no willing, not willing to battle or argue over things that no longer mean anything to you. You're not going to, because um, that's a five of wands, I mean the seven of wands in reverse, so... Um, you may sit there and, and cut something out. You may get a little defensive or someone may get defensive with you, but you're no longer willing to do uh, deal with the anxiety and the chain situation from the devil. You're going for your happily ever after and possibly even a, a new contract or a new relationship that's stable. Maybe that's what you're looking for. Maybe you're telling people, guess what? Look what I'm doing. And you are the magician. And I do see you... Um, Maybe even talking to a couple of people in the past or thinking about the past energies when things were good or thinking about the positives of what you can manifest. You do manifest something. You can manifest something because you got the Nine of Pentacles, which is considered gain in an other decks. It's also uh, called independence. Financial independence, going for financial independence. And in the very near future, you're going to do that because I see the four of pentacles in the upright. Keeping tight is what is yours sometimes. It also means bringing in abundance more, you know, when it comes to stability and money, you know. So four of pentacles in the upright. Why are you there for cancer? What's going on? Ooh, 
Yeah, a lover situation. So you may be getting rid of some negative situations, things that caused you betrayal, things that caused you anxiety. And you're going for your happily ever after. You're manifesting that. And you're also gaining, you're, you are gaining, you're going to gain something. And I think it's more stability. It can be money. But I do also see you keep and tell you what is yours, but also uh, taking an abundance to yourself and security. And it has to do with a lover in, in the upright. So um, for pentacles, the lover's both in the upright. Why are you there for cancer? But you are going to end something. You are going to end something. You, I, I feel a lot of you are ended. You have ended something or going to end something and starting a new situation, even a new relationship, something that brings you on better things. So these are for cancers that do want to go do away with the old and want the new to come in. So if you're not wanting this, and this reading may not be for you, but if I were if I were a cancer, I would want this energy no matter what, and I will I will take the magician and manifest what I want. But I do see you ending a situation, but I also see you starting something different because you're avoiding a tower situation. You want to avoid a tower. You want to avoid your life from crumbling down with the tower in reverse. Now, the possible future outcome and advice from the universe, this is a star card in the upright, and it's a beautiful card. It's about hopes and dreams and living your dreams, and it can become part of the outcome. If, if you listen to the universe, it says don't give up hope and going for the, your dreams. So the star card in the upright, why are you there for cancer as the um, possible future outcome or advice from the universe? Yeah, don't worry about energies that aren't um, dedicated to you. Don't worry about the past energies of a possible um, fire sign um, energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Someone who was noncommittal. Look for, go for what you're hoping for and don't let um, situations or past energies throw you off from, from your dreams. So the star card in the upright, Knight of Wands in reverse. Why are you there <clears throat> for Cancer? Why are you there? Yeah, because if you if you don't go on from this situation, it'll eventually cost you. But I think you're in sync with the universe, and you know this. And the universe says there is hope for you. There is hope for your situation of you going forward and fo following your dreams. <clears throat> the only um, warning is if you go backwards, that it will end up costing you, you know, in the situations that weren't working out. So don't look back. Don't look at past betrayals. Just go for what you're hoping for in your dreams, the things that you want. Now, the outside environment is the hermit card, and it's very interesting because it could be so many things. But it's like someone is intensely thinking about something their next move now whether it's you but i don't think so because the outside environment was coming towards you it could be somebody let's find out who this somebody is the hermit in the upright why are you there for cancer for august why are you there is the outside environment or what is coming towards cancer <clears throat> Yes, it's like someone's not working on something that is kind of keeping to themselves. They got the Nine of Wands in reverse next to them. It's like they're just waiting for you or waiting for a situation to change. Yeah, they're waiting for a situation to change. They're unable to move on. So you may be dealing with someone who is unable to move on from troubled waters, and it's like they're waiting for something to come in. It's an outside environment. So if someone you're dealing with is waiting, waiting, but they're not really doing a whole lot to make things move forward. And it's like they're waiting for their ships to come in. They're just waiting, but and they're unable to move on from a troubled situation. So this could be someone you're dealing with in the past, someone who's caused you anxiety. Now, like I said, for a few of you, it could flip to where you're waiting on something and someone else has, or, you know, um, cut out something. For those of you who may have done someone wrong, this could be that this is happening to you, you know, where someone is walking away. But I'm reading for Cancer, so the majority is going to be that Cancer has the Magician card and is able to manifest what they're wanting in life. The only um, <clears throat> warning is 
don't keep on going back to the past where it can ruin you eventually because you are trying to avoid that tower. I do see you being very successful if you go for what you're wanting, if you go for your dreams. I see that a lot of cancers being successful in moving from this karmic situation because in your hopes and fears, you got the world card in the upright. <clears throat> the world card in the upright is ending a karmic cycle and starting something brand new, spanking brand new. That is good. That is positive. That is going to bring you the things that you want. So the world card in the upright, why you there for cancer and the hopes and fears and the possible power of attraction. If they concentrate on it, they will get it. The world card in the upright, why you there. Page of Pentacles, do not accept any messages that are not financially secure. Do not go back on your karmic cycle. That is not good for you. Do not turn the situation around. The world, you know, you want to go for your positives, not the past. Not the past situations that almost in a way ruined you. So, the um, world card in the upright, Page of Pentacles in reverse, why you're there for cancer. As the hopes and fears. The chariot. Yeah, get rid of the fears. With the power of attraction, it's telling you to get rid of the fears because you will not move forward if you do not. You have to get rid of the fears. You got to go use your, your magician status. Go for your independence or get in your overall wealth. You might be getting into a new contract or a lover situation and you may be accumulating more money. You are going to put an end to something because I do see the death card there. You are going to put away old behaviors, but don't let those old situations try to get it, you know, stick in your memory to where you, you feel oppressed. Okay. So in the end, you got the Ten of Swords in the upright. Ten of Swords in the upright as the final outcome. Why are you there? It could be that others feel this way about you, that you did this to them. That um, you're not going to be celebrating with those situations in the past anymore because someone did betray you. You did end a situation over betrayal. And you're releasing this burden and you're going on with something else with the Two of Pentacles. You're going to be doing something else, something that's going to keep you very, very busy. So you're going to let go of these betrayals. You're not going to, because you got the Ten of Swords and you're thinking, I'm not going to entertain this anymore with the Three of Cups in reverse. With the Ten of, of Wands there in reverse also, you're releasing this burden and you're going to start keeping busy doing other things. Like I said, some of you will be taking on a new relationship. Others will be taking on new contracts or maybe even both and regaining wealth in your life. So... The key is do not accept messages that aren't loving and kind because you will be getting some messages from somebody, possibly someone from the past, because I do see that, you know, past energy is quite a bit there, things that come out. And you may hear something from somebody that is very emotionally upset about the whole situation, and they may not feel like they got a victory with you. But you're mad in some ways or hurt about the past. I can see that. It caused you anxiety. Whoever did what to you that was kind of underhanded that you had to unchain yourself from, it hurts you. But you are regaining your strength. You're getting a magician. You're regaining your uh, financial abilities and you're going on to something totally new. For those of you that like the past to be gone, this is probably for you. Just don't let it weigh you down. Release the burden, like I said, and don't give up hope because the universe promises you your dreams to come true, the ones that you want. Okay? And I'll let this go, and I will talk to you later. Bye.